Hello friends, what is up? It is Jade here, Star Moon and Sun Tarot, and I'm doing a deck review. Let me zoom this in. So this is the Modern Love Tarot by Ethany. This is the same maker who did the Awakened Soul Oracle that I recently reviewed. I will put a link for that somewhere around um, if you want to check out the Oracle deck. And I do believe they would work quite well together. But this is the Modern Love Tarot. And this is really, really interesting and unique deck. We're going to open it up. It's a little magnetic box. Very, very pretty on the inside. This retails, I got it on Amazon, um, retails for $45. It is worth every penny, though. Um, it's got a big, thick guidebook that goes over each card. And the general love meaning, the, if someone is single, you know how that card could be looked at. If they're ready for love and dating, if they're in a committed relationship, struggling in a relationship, or the end of a So no matter where someone is at in a relationship, they give you um, interpretations for every single card. So then here is the deck. This is a perfect romance deck. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It is basically hot pink with these beautiful foiled gold details here and it's got the little B that you see on the all of the Ethany products and um, swords and wands and cups and pentacles and that gold foil that gold gilding continues around on the edges I mean it's it's stunning so the next thing I love about this so much besides that it's perfect for love perfect for relationships love readings um, I love that they've deviated from the Rider weight um, in some ways, but they've made it very modern and very fresh and very relatable to everyday situations. So here we have, this is the Fool. So there is the Fool. Here we have the Magician, and we'll just do a quick flip through. Here is the High Priestess, card two. And they've got a wide variety of ethnicities, ages. Um, it's a very, very inclusive deck. Here is the Empress. Beautiful, beautiful imagery with the Empress here. I love this. Here we have the Emperor. The Hierophant. Love this. The lovers. So as I've said, very highly inclusive deck. So I love that a lot. Here is the chariot. So cute. Here is strength. The hermit. Wheel of fortune. Very, very pretty. We have justice. Very interesting interpretation of justice. This could go a couple different ways, so I like that quite a bit. Here is the Hanged Man. Very modern interpretations, very um, everyday situations and meanings. We have Death. Here is Death. Very, very pretty and interesting. Here we have Temperance. Beautiful little family moment. Love it. The Devil. <laughs> we have the tower, the star, the moon, and the sun. Judgment. Oops. And the world. Almost went right to the Ace of Cups. So then we go into Ace of Cups. So we're going into the Minor Arcana now. And although it deviates from the Rider weight a little bit, it not entirely. Here's the Two of Cups. I love this sweet elderly couple. They are so cute. We have the Three of Cups. And I just love the different variation of styles and, you know, the, the different people. They have um, substance to them. You know, they seem to have their own um, stories and themes. And yeah, I believe I said that about their Awakened Soul Oracle deck as well. Um, Four of Cups. 
Here we have the Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. This one's very, she's having a very nice bath, a bubble bath, and it's very like white and clean in her bathroom, so it's like washing out a little bit here on the camera, but that is the Nine of Cups, very cool. Ten of Cups, very pretty. We have the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. Now we have the Ace of Swords. I love this with all of the books and you know, the Ace of Swords is all about knowledge and truth and clarity and wisdom. And I just, I adore this. So cool. And I think if you're a newer tarot reader, I think that even if you don't have a whole lot of experience, just by the, the people in the pictures and the situations, you can kind of deduce the meaning of the card, the traditional meaning. Um, so this could be very helpful if you're newer to reading and you want to, you know, kind of intuitively read through the pictures of the cards but still uh, as well as like picking up the general overall accepted Rider Waite standard meaning of the deck so I love this two of swords three of swords four of swords five of swords six of swords Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. And there's a couple different things going on. There's like the clock and we see a divorce certificate here. So really like how useful these are for just general love readings and relationship uh, messages. We have the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, going into the Pentacles next, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, very cute. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, very, very cute, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. Into the Wands now. Oops. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Very pretty, beautiful image. Love this. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. And I love the inclusion in this. Um, they've included literally everyone it seems like seven of wands eight of wands nine of wands and again everyday situations and how these cards can have meanings and i love how easy to to grasp it is very very good this is very well done ten of wands we have page of wands oh super cute Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, woo, 
very sexy. And yes, King of Wands, very cool. Um, and then there is um, a really cute little card that comes with it, advertising a free guide with 33 pages of astrological new and full moon tarot spreads that you can use with any tarot oracle deck. So this is really cool. Um, I'm really glad that they include something like that. <clears throat> so overall, overall, it shuffles really nicely for a nice um, overhand slide shuffle, of course. Let's see how it does arc. Yeah, I have not shuffled these yet. Let me, let me roll my sleeves up here. Yeah, they seem to shuffle beautifully either way. They are slippery without being too slippery. I love the gilding. I love all of the, the colors in it. I think it's really, really stunning. And also, if you have, I'm looking for it now, if you have the Awakened Soul Oracle deck, um, I, I believe that they will work quite well together, and if you like this oracle deck, I think you're definitely going to love this, or if you do a lot of love readings, if you have a tarot channel, definitely check this out. This is an amazing deck. I'm super happy I have it, and now I can pair it with that Awakened Soul oracle or other decks that I find work really well for relationship and romance readings, so I am super thrilled to have this. Uh, make sure you check out my review on the Awakened Soul Oracle if you haven't seen it yet or any of my reviews. And make sure you check me out reading tarot whenever I do get a chance to do it. Some box below, there will be a link for this deck on Amazon if you're interested in purchasing it. And also feel free to check out my second channel, Jaded Raven Witchery, where we talk about witchcraft and magic and all good things, okay? So yeah, I love this deck, Modern Love Tarot by Ethany. Do you have this? Are you waiting for it? Did you order it? What are your thoughts? Comment down below. I always love hearing you guys and having these awesome discussions about decks and theories and all sorts of interesting things. So yeah, make sure you are hitting subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you can see when I do read tarot, when I do upload, when I do deck reviews. And uh, yeah, feel free to check out the other things I have available, and I hope to see you guys soon. All right, much love to you all. Bye.